Hello friends, I'm going <laughs> on my Christmas vacation. Yes, it's gonna be fun and I'll take you with me, of course, as usual. And uh, look what we have here. It looks very Christmassy here in Calgary, but I'm leaving in about four hours, first to Europe, and then we'll see. All right. Okay, I think the title gave it away already. I'm heading to Egypt. And my first dive is going to be into culture. Something is missing here though. That's what I'm talking about. Then I hook up with my wonderful dive buddy Jean-Luc from Marseille and we get ready and on the boat. The next morning the ship leaves the port. We are all excited and ready to dive. Dive into a realm of beautiful colors. Numerous reef gives smaller fish lots of places to hide from predators. There are corals and sponges that are very unique to the Red Sea. Here's one of the locals, an Arabian angelfish. A batfish, also known as a spadefish. This is a hawkfish. We can see where the name comes from. It perches on higher ground and observes the area. This is one of the bigger fish, the blue trigger fish. There are reports that some scuba divers have been bitten hard by this one. It is always important to approach marine life slowly and in a non-threatening way. Here's another big fish. This small little cute fish is a bird wrasse. It comes in multiple colors, depending on maturity and gender. Another beautiful local fish here is the Red Sea Banner Fish.
Make way, Bannerfish. Here come two blue cheek butterfly fish. A crown butterfly fish. Exquisite butterfly fish. A thread fin butterfly fish. The orange face butterfly fish. The Red Sea Raccoon butterfly fish. I know a lot of butterfly fishes here. These beautiful small orange fish are sea goldies. They appear to be everywhere in the Red Sea. Giant clams showing us magnificent colors. Many different fish share the reef, and there seems to be an abundance of food. Everyone enjoys the dives, and nobody has been bitten yet. Between the dives, we enjoy the beautiful ocean and the sun on the deck of the boat. And here we have some stars of the Red Sea, the Red Sea Clownfish. Did you know that clownfish are anemone fish? That form a symbiotic relationship with anemones. Clownfish are sequential hermaphrodites. First they develop into male and later on into a more dominant female. The poisonous anemone protect the fish and the offspring provides scraps to eat and in return the clownfish protects the anemone and takes care of parasites. Those fish are not afraid to attempt to scare big fish and divers away. This one is in our faces just like a wasp. Not sure if anyone has been bitten before by them. But then again, if you behave silly, clumsy or reckless as a diver, or even on land, there are a lot of things that will bite, scratch and sting you.
Here's Jolik, ready to get some more creatures on his camera. Like this nudie branch, these are colorful sea snails. A clown chorus wrasse. The Emperor Angelfish The Black Mask Puffer is also a resident of the Red Sea. This one appears to be back paddling. Picasso Triggerfish According to research, they seem to have the same color vision like humans. A goggle eye fish. A leopard flounder. The blue spotted stingray is a beautiful little ray that can be spotted in sandy areas. Even though it is timid and non aggressive towards humans, the blue spotted ribbon tail ray is capable of inflicting an excruciating wound with its venomous tail spines. And of course it's always great to see sea turtles. Time to eat and get more strength for more diets. How do you like your breakfast? Oh, delicious! <laughs> You've been such a wonderful, wonderful dive partner on this trip. Oh, well, I'm so glad to help you. So good looking. Yeah, well. I hope you've got your camera <laughs> It goes for the same, the whole boat, I think. Eh? Ready for Brexit, uh, breakfast? <laughs> right. Jean-Luc, you like your egg scramble there? Yes! Wow. <laughs> Alles paletti? Alles paletti! Now it's time to explore some shipwrecks. This is Diana's D. In 1983, the ship ran full speed ahead onto the sharp Abu Nuras reef and sank. The Canadic sank 1869. The Kingston struck Shag Rock February 22, 1881. Each of these shipwrecks have a tragic story to tell. And today many creatures find food and places to hide in them. Like this beautiful parrotfish. The SS Thistlegorm was a British armed merchant navy ship built in 1940. The ship was attacked by German Luftwaffe bombers. It sank October 1941. As cargo, it had trucks, motorcycles, boot, ammunition, rifles, airplane parts, armored vehicles, steam locomotives even, and tenders. The ship was transporting military supplies. It's amazing when you think how many resources are wasted during wars. 
The Dun Raven also sailed into a reef by Beacon Rock, April 1876. The Ulysses was a British iron screw steamer. It hit the reef on the 6th of September 1887 and sank. The Alminia was an Egyptian minesweeper. This Soviet-built ship was allegedly bombed 1969 by Israelis. This cute little network piped fish now lives here. Night dives are always an adventure. A cornet fish comes out of the dark. They are cousins of the trumpet fish. I wonder if there's also a saxophone fish. Also here we see lots of moray eels. This is a giant moray eel. Those are humongous. A pharaoh cuttlefish. These are also most commonly found in the Persian Gulf. Our oh, mass puffer is also around at night. A yellow goldfish. A cute little blue tail boxfish. Another cat with tentacles, a octopus. A feather star. Usually they're anchored to the reef, but sometimes they get weird and detach and move around. A cold snail. The yellow-edged lyre tail, another native to the Red Sea. This is a very strange fish to see. It's a spotted unicorn fish. Its Latin name is Naso Brevi Rostris. Until I figured out what kind of fish that was, I called it nosefish, interestingly. Unfortunately, that trip comes to an end as well. But I'm glad I met lots of interesting people and made some friends. Don't forget to join me on my next adventure.